All right, there are only eight certified athletic trainers in the LA Unified School District, including Venice High School. Now, last August, their presence likely meant the difference between life and death for one football player. Chris Harey has more on that night and what could mean for the future. I want to go back to August 19th, 2022 on this field. Tell me what happened on that day. During the play, me and my teammate, we went to go make a tackle. And uh, me and the, the ball carrier, we hit head to head. And then I was a little bit slow to get up. And then after that, I played the whole rest of the drive. And then after that, uh, they were trying to give me water. And then I was refusing water. And then my head just tilted back. And then everything just went black. He kind of slumped over. Um, so I just thought he was a little tired. But a few minutes later, they were coming into the crowd looking for me. And so by the time I had gotten down to the field, he had had about three seizures. Thankfully for all of us, and especially for Nathan and his family, our athletic training staff and doctors took over. And they, in my estimation, that was a miracle. Take me through the moment and, and how you guys, in real time, went into action to make sure that, that Nathan had the best care possible in that moment. Within seconds, Nathan had two athletic trainers and two doctors with him. We were maintaining his airway. We were making sure he was safe. As we came on the scene, we knew we were going to need 911. It was pick up the radio, tell the administration it's happening, make the phone call. Everyone knew where to go and man their station. We didn't have to wait for a gate to be open. We didn't have to wait for people to wave down the ambulance. When seconds matter, having everything in place like that is huge. Chase is uh, one of eight athletic trainers in LAUSD. The fact that you guys were able to execute this emergency action plan, how impactful do you think that was in making sure that Nathan's with us today? For someone to have something that's life-threatening like Nathan had, the first thing is uh, recon early recognition. It's really important that we, you know, promote this because he he might not have had um, he might not have had such a good outcome if we hadn't recognized you know this this emergency and, and getting him to make sure we stabilized and uh, got him to, to where he needed to go. Where are we? in terms of progress to increasing that number. I was brought from Venice High School to LAUSD headquarters to address the fact that we need athletic trainers. And I think it's important for parents to know and parents to be able to advocate regardless of where you are in school, um, whether it's LAUSD or anywhere in the state of California. It's an important piece if you want to make sure your child is safe to make sure they have an athletic trainer. And I feel like the district should do whatever it takes to make sure that they have them at every school. No parent should experience what I had to experience. You know, they were there in the moment and they were watching and they were just really attentive to what happened. And the first responders too, the emergency, uh, they were there in, in less than five minutes for all the schools that don't have an athletic trainer. You know, those are really important because anything can happen at any moment. And you always gotta be prepared for that type of stuff. Now, we reached out to the district about plans to increase the number of certified trainers, and they said they are, quote, collaborating with various partners throughout the state to expand access to certified trainers for all student athletes. And it goes on to say L.A. Unified looks forward to increasing the number of certified athletic trainers in our district in the years to come. Now, Nathan's recovery has been remarkable, including a school record in track and a return to the football field.